Since I'm running a milk paint sale until Saturday the 18th, I thought now would be a great time to talk to you all about milk paint. I know I have a bunch of different videos, but I really want to do one that covers all the bases, and I'm painting three chairs to show you how. So when you're using milk paint, a few things to know is it's all natural and no VOC. It's easy to mix. If you can make hot chocolate, you can make milk paint. The thing about milk paint is it's made to chip. So if you don't want it to chip, or if it's something that's kind of shiny that you're not going to sand, you need to use extra bond. I'm using three colors today. On this chair, I'm using Sweet Pickens Milk Paint and Butter. This is a, a sample amount, which is the perfect size to paint one small chair. And then I'm gonna be adding the extra bond. It says to do two parts paint to one part extra bond, but I want it to chip a little bit, so I'm not gonna do quite that much. With my milk paint, it comes in a powder form, and I've mixed one part milk paint to one part water, and I use warm water. I just mix it up with my fork and then I'm gonna use my immersion blender. Now don't worry, if you don't have an immersion blender, you can just use a fork or a whisk and it'll work great. But if you do have one, they're under 20 bucks and they really mix your paint up well. So I'm just gonna add probably, I don't know, three parts paint to one part extra bond. This one's got a good amount of sheen and it looks like it's been around the block a time or two, so I wanna make sure that my paint sticks and doesn't all chip off. Okay. Just mix it in there. And then the longer your paint sits, the thicker it gets. So now I've added my extra bond and I'm ready to paint. This is Sweet Pickens Milk Paint and Butter and I'm just gonna go ahead and go right over. I have cleaned this piece, but I don't know if it'll stick everywhere, and that's okay, because I'm gonna give a heavy distress. It's been around and been outside and had some heavy abuse. The thing about chairs is that it's good to have a round brush, because then you can get in all the details and go around all the edges. So much easier than a flat brush. I'm using my round zipper brush, one of my favorites. So this has like none of the finish left on it, so I'm not adding any extra bond at all, and it probably won't chip very much. If I wanted it to chip a lot, I could shellac the piece, but I'm okay with it not chipping. So I'm just taking just the milk paint and going right over the existing seat. No sanding or prep involved. So I'm adding a little bit extra bond for this chair because it's pretty shiny and I want my paint to stick and not completely chip off. Maybe a little more. Once you use it for a while, you can kind of gauge. I'd say err on the side of caution with extra bond and then as you get used to it, you can decide how much to add. There's a few different ways I like to distress milk paint. Usually I like to start off with my orbital sander and 220 sandpaper, and then when I'm done with that, sometimes I'll hit it with a damp rag and do some wet distressing. So I've got my DeWalt orbital, my 220, and I'm just gonna hit this and give it some natural distress all along the edge, and I usually like to go over the flat surfaces just to smooth them out. So this chair was totally already chippy before I got started, so when I sand this, all this is just gonna come up and be chippy again. If you want it like a perfectly smooth finish, then you need to make sure that the finish underneath is smooth. I wanted it chippy, so I just left it like this because I want it to look kind of aged and worn over time. And all of these chairs, I only did um, the Sweetie Jane blue one, I did two coats on, but both the butter and the peachy, I only did one thick coat of the milk paint on there, and it covered really well. So the next thing I'm gonna do, now that I've used the orbital sander and it's really smooth, so I'm just gonna take my damp rag and I'm gonna remove any dust and debris, 
And I'm also gonna wet distress and remove some more paint. And sometimes you can't get the orbital everywhere, so this wet distress really just helps distress it and remove any excess paint. Now that I know that these are all dust free, I'm gonna use my oil wax. It's also from Sweet Pick and Smoke Paint. It's all natural. It smells a little bit like a number two pencil, but once it's done, you won't smell anything. So this is really easy to apply. You just brush it on, and then you let it sit 15 to 20 minutes, and then you rub it off, and it'll give it kind of a satin sheen when it's dry. I love using this in the winter time when I can't always spray the piece with polyacrylic because it gives it a nice finish and it's not super hard on my hands to put it on and it is so easy to apply. So much easier than traditional wax. Now that we've let our oil wax sit for about 20 minutes, I'm just gonna take my lint-free rag and I'm just gonna rub the oil wax in. It's gonna take away some of the sheen and leave it with kind of a dull satin finish. That's one of those special Ikea rags. It is, and it's nice and smooth and after, I think it's 24 hours, it's water resistant and good to go. That one's the sturdiest. No, don't stand that one. Why? That one's the sturdiest. But then we're so far apart. It's okay. I don't want to be a long ways away from you. <sighs> Is that a good smile? I'm front and center. Yeah. So we have painted these chairs today for you so that we could see how easy it is to use milk paint. Not hard, just mix it up. Add some extra bond if it's shiny. If you don't want to add extra bond and it's shiny, then just sand your piece. You can do that too, but I don't like sand still. So. These chairs were pretty rough when I pulled them out of the back of the Acadia earlier. They were nasty, dirty. Someone had left them outside. Oh yeah, so be sure to clean them. We cleaned our, our chairs yeah. pretty darn good. They did, even after I cleaned them though, they still looked dirty and there was nothing to fix it. Yeah. They've been left out in the elements with dirt and dust on them for probably they had great years. Bumps. Yeah, I, uh, you're sitting in, no? Yes, you're sitting in my favorite one. I like oh, that one. Oh, is it because it's peachy? No, it's because of the shape of the back of it. <laughs> and it has a higher seat, actually. It's taller than this one. Yeah, well, the nice thing about these chairs is that they're a good vintage style. They've got farmhouse look. They now have a new paint job. And that oil wax is super easy to use. If you're kind of intimidated with regular wax and you don't want to put on a polyacrylic, the oil wax is easy. You just brush it on and then you wipe it off, no brush strokes. You don't have to worry about like it's smelling your house up or whatever. And it holds up really well. Like, yeah. We've gotten pieces back from people and for whatever reason that seems to happen sometimes. They're like, oh, I changed up my decor. You want this back? We're like, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll sell it again. <laughs> so it holds up great. You just clean it with soap and water. So the products we used today were um, a sample of Sweetie Jane, Peachy, and butter and then we use the oil wax and the extra bond. I do want to say though that the samples just barely covered each chair and these are kind of smaller yeah. chairs. So if you're going to do a bigger chair you're probably going to need two samples and if you're going to do a few chairs then grab a pint. And yeah, they're not to go. quite child size but they're old so they're made for smaller humans turn of the century. We're going to call them junior size. The junior, junior chairs. Size. Uh, be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com. All of my milk paint and the extra bond is 20% off. Use the code flash sale ends November 18th, 2017. I'm going to throw the year in just because yeah. people watch our videos for a long time later. Anyways, it ends this Saturday at midnight Utah time. So get your orders in. That way you can have some fun and get your furniture done. Oh, hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and check out our website, jamierayvintage.com. Bye.